potato, my fave. Get this potato into the golf hole. You may not touch the red, green. You may not touch the red, green. I get one shot at this. No. OK. Oh, but if I throw it, I can't go on it, right? Oh, that's clever. So it's like a one... Oh, man, oh, man, you're kidding me. <laughs> mm. I mean, with a task like this, it was made pretty clear that they're not allowed to touch the red-green, right? Yes. So the one thing you wouldn't do is you wouldn't just throw the potato at the hole and hope for the best. No, otherwise the potato would just be stranded. They'd be stranded. You wouldn't be able to retrieve you the potato. You wouldn't be able to get to it. So you'd think of a way around that. I mean, no one would mm. just do that, right? <laughs> We've just got, <laughs> just got Joe to see. Fastest wins, your time starts now. Oh, we're off. <laughs> uh, what about what, if I can't... If I don't get it... There we go. You think that would happen, would you? 14.3 seconds. Okay. <laughs> well done, Joe. <laughs> really emotional. <laughs> I think that's the best thing I've ever done. It's a good shot. Cheers. I was going to pop that in there. Job done. All right, see you in a bit. Yeah, cheers. Well done, Joe. Oh, wow. Ah. Yeah. Well, Joe. Cheers. I don't know how you feel, Catherine, but it made me like sport. <laughs> <laughs> it's incredible. How, I mean, talking through it, how were you feeling? Instincts. <laughs> Got laser-like yeah, accuracy. Just, and then I thought, piece of piece. <laughs> <laughs> what did, I, did it another 17 times after that. <laughs> <laughs> what I liked was what you said to Alex. I don't know if you heard that, but you went, uh, yeah, you didn't think that was going to happen, did you? <laughs> <laughs> well, you did. <laughs> <laughs> it's that incredible. It's so incredible. I personally, I'd love to see it again. You want to see it again? <laughs> yeah. OK, here it is again. Oh. oh. <laughs> That's joyous. <laughs> oh. 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 <laughs> Guys, sometimes it's hard to be oh. the taskmaster. <laughs> Sometimes you've got to crush dreams. <laughs> That's the most exciting bit of sport oh, I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> sure, up, mate. It's not, it's not like you're going back to an empty house. <laughs> you know what? Please don't take it away from me. <laughs> Please. Uh... <laughs> God, I've got a real sense of power then for a second. <laughs> you know, you know, Joe, it's all it's awful because clearly you've got you've got an awful home life. We've established that already. Can I just as uh, speaking as a fellow competitor, yeah. I thought it was an incredible achievement. All right. And well, if listen. I, if I'd done what he had done, I would yeah. I, I would have wanted the five points. That's my view. So I'd yeah, be well, happy to cede it to uh, to uh, to Joe. But you know, it's your, it's up to it's you. It's really strange, it's though, isn't it? And that's a really impassioned and eloquent argument. But it makes me more inclined to take it <laughs> off. <laughs> <laughs> I'll tell you what I'm going to do, and it's unprecedented. And don't think that we're going to do this for the rest of the series because we're not. It's a one-off. I'm going to allow your fellow competitors to decide. Oh, dear me. Good luck, mate. <laughs> <laughs> we should send Joe out of the room and take a vote. Yeah, you should go. Off. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I was... <laughs> Four of you there, you've got one vote, so I guess uh, raise your hand if you'd like uh, Joe to win, despite the... Yeah, yeah. Oh, <laughs> So you don't think Joe should get it? No. I think if you really <laughs> analyse the slow-mo, uh. those couple of centimetres that he gains 
over the red. Were you to take them away and it be a clean shot, that potato would have been all rim and bounced out. <laughs> I mean, even that was lyrical, wasn't it? <laughs> that potato would have been all, all rim, rim and bounced out. <laughs> I'm telling you, that, that, those centimetres were a crucial advantage. Do you want to bring him back in and uh, deliver your verdict? Yeah, yeah. Go he on. can come back in, but he can't step on the red. <laughs> <laughs> Joe, yep. I gave your fellow contestants the opportunity to save you, and they were unable to conclusively do that. <coughs> and therefore, <laughs> on this occasion, I'm going to have to say that your uh, attempt was uh, null and void. I apologise. Oh. 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 That is harsh. That's harsh. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's just fucking harsh. It's the same. It's harsh. We, we fought for you, mate, but... <laughs> Hello, Rod. Is that a wash? These are all Greg's socks. Find the sock with a Satsuma inside. You may not look inside any of your socks. You may squeeze five socks. Stroke ten socks and sniff twenty socks. My rules every day anyway. Oh, so many things. You may put your hand inside three socks. You may put eleven socks on your feet. Fastest wins. Your time starts now. Um, I'm a little bit irritated. Someone appears to have uh, graffitied on the sides of my caravan. Yeah, that was awkward. So I obviously put the Satsuma in the eighth one along, and the big eight there was to remind me that's the one it was, but I left it up. But... Oh. Oh. <laughs> if any of them had looked back at any point, that would have been so annoying. Seen it was eight yeah. socks down. He's angry about the hoolering. You're still you're not angry about that, are you? Oh, no, I calmed down about that, and then just pointed that out, and now I remember that I hate this show. <laughs> Ready for Rod? Yes, please. Here we go. <laughs> cool. Somebody's done a... Somebody's done a job on this. Cool. This isn't as easy as I thought. This is it. I was going for a scissors, but as luck would have it, I found a tangerine in the kitchen. You think this is the sock with the satsuma in? Yeah. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I just put a satsuma in it. Can I check? See if you... Absolutely, yeah. There you go. Yeah, it didn't say, uh, exclusively with a satsuma in it. OK. Thank you. Thanks, Rod. How's that? Well, let's just establish the time that he found a satsuma in a sock. Two minutes 31. Did he find a satsuma in a sock? I would say he didn't find it. Yeah. Well, well you've you, got to lose something Well, if you put them on the it. side, then you forgot about them. Because yeah, I'll you tell you now, Rod's the same age as me. It's entirely feasible that he put that satsuma <laughs> in, the, in the sock yeah. and then forgot and then found it. I was surprised as anyone when it fell out. You can't put it in yourself. Come on, Come that's on. a proper... Yeah, you've got to admit that was clever. It's funny famous. who you're uh, know... who you're prepared to bend for, isn't it? <laughs> Fucking no. <laughs> Joe, you know what? I can't believe this shit. Oh, <laughs> uh, well, I've got uh, one of them's my friend. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, I've never been accused of bias oh. before, Good and you've you. got two points for that hula hoop bullshit. Oh. <laughs> It felt so good. <laughs> oh, please give me another two points for the hula hoop. <laughs> give me eight weeks of my life back. How's that sound? <laughs> James, do you remember how I backed you on the hula hoop thing? I, 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 I was right behind you. <laughs> yeah, well, back... now you can back into a satsuma and shove it up your ass. <laughs> this has taken a very nasty turn. <laughs> Uh. 
move the water from bucket A to bucket B. I saw this coming a mile away. You must not move the buckets. Most water moved wins. You have 10 minutes. Your time starts... Not quite this... Uh, what have I got? A sieve. Is this bucket A? Yes, it is, yeah. It's not a trick. Oh, oh! What's happening? <laughs> Why is there a hole in this bag? It was a trick, wasn't it? <laughs> what about the peas? Pardon? What are the peas for? Oh, I thought it might help move the water. No. So we've got to move that water down to that bucket? Yes, please, Paul. Oh, this is horrible. Just moving a bucket of freezing cold water, isn't it? I mean, there's actual bits of ice in here. <laughs> You've had tremendously bad luck with the weather all series, oh, haven't you? That was, that was the first thing we did. It was, like, 9am and it was minus three or something? It was minus five. Minus five. <laughs> and, and the weather for everybody else is perfectly lovely. Lovely. <laughs> And a, a wonderful collection of rubbish to help them move the water. Yep, woolly hat, colander, bag of peas and holes, a tray, a string bag, a cellar tape and a coconut. Right. Uh, loads of things that are clearly useless for moving water. These are intelligent people. They won't try and use them, right? <laughs> <laughs> Alex? Yes? Would you be able to bring that bucket out that end for me? Because it only said I couldn't move it. it didn't say that no one could move it. You've got 20 seconds, Come on. Sarah. 20 seconds? Yeah. Ah. Oh. I mean, I will say, I'm not going to let anyone touch that bucket. If someone else has moved the bucket, I'm going to be furious. Can we now have um, Al's VT, please? Of course we can. Here we go. I'm not allowed to move the bucket, but you are. No, I'm not, unfortunately, because I don't want to. You don't want to? No, it's too cold. Hang on. <laughs> 40, uh, oh, here we go. Bags I got 115 pounds on me. That'll warm you up. Come on. <laughs> don't run with it, I don't want to spill it. Oh, oh no, do run with it, I'm running out of time. Oh, my God! Two and a half minutes. Mm. Can I have £10 now, please? Yes! Yeah, there you go. <laughs> yeah! Thanks, Al. You like the money, don't you? <laughs> you like some money. Yes. I'd not, I'm not going to go... I'd Put it next to the other bucket. I'm not going to go any further, Al. OK. £20, can you lift the other bucket up? Can I have the money? Oh, yeah. Hold the bucket up. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> yeah. Look at that. That's fantastic. <laughs> Look at that. It's been like watching how Donald Trump would do things. <laughs> I mean, you have been throwing money around. <laughs> <laughs> that? And it's gross the way he like gives it away to you, like you're a little mouse. It works. <laughs> it also, <laughs> listen, as, as, as disgusted as I was by watching um, Al's display of wealth, I am far more disgusted with someone else in this room. <laughs> <laughs> I wrote down a quote um, from an earlier VT. And it is as follows. Sarah, just so you know, I will not be moving that bucket for anyone. It's almost like you just know I'm poor. How did Al Murray give you pounds. to break your own rule? 80, 80 pounds. But I'm sort of work experience. So what have you done with what? that 80 pounds? I bought some rounds in the bar and pretended it was my money. Right. <laughs> well, it's unacceptable. Why don't you give us 20 quid each? I think if the money's going to go anywhere, it should go to charity, don't you, Rob? No. <laughs> So this is the way I see it. 60 of the 80 pounds will go to charity, 20 pounds will go to Rob Beckett Thank because you. he's obviously got <laughs> he's obviously got problems. <laughs> <laughs> what charity would you like to give the 60 pounds to? Ch uh, children's Ch or dolphins? Dolphins. dolphins. <laughs> Good luck dolphins. <laughs> 60 pounds coming your way. I'll pass judgment on the points in a minute, but first there must be an extra penalty for you. Take one of your shoes and socks off. <laughs> One of my really yeah. for the rest of the, the right foot. The right foot. That's the punishment. Yeah. Okay. I don't like it. <laughs> Good. This is the way I see it. Al Murray wasn't to know that his ingenious method was uh, contradictory, so I'm not going to penalise him. Thank you. What I'm going to do is I'm going to award Sarah Pasco an extra point. Fair enough. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay. Thank you.
slightly struggled with the door handle out. I wonder if that might be the task. <laughs> Big fan of tea, so this is a real boost to me. Right. Throw a tea bag into a mug from the furthest yeah. distance. You have exactly one hour. Your time starts now. I reckon I'll be pretty good at this. Played a lot of cricket in my youth. It's the longest part of the house. But how would I get into the mud? I mean, I'm just thinking about length. I'm not thinking about any accuracy. <laughs> <laughs> What's the longest part of the house? I've grouped Ramesh, Roshin and Frank together. Do you want to see how they did it? Oh, God, oh. yes. <laughs> okay. Um, I, I, the key, clearly, is do you want wet tea bags, dry tea bags, Robbie? What if I put loads of teacups around and just increase my chances? That's the I, I reckon that's the best way of doing it. <laughs> oh God! Are you kidding me? What? <laughs> Fuck you! Right here. It's five metres, exactly. Fuck you! Oh, my God! The last batch of squares I've got, and then I'm going to have to start tying them up like a chump and then use, reuse them again. I didn't think I was going to get to this point. There's so many of them. Some will take the first 45 minutes realising it's better if they're wet. I just realised I should probably wet them. <laughs> I mean, it's quite late on to discover that, make that realisation, but... Unbelievable. It's so good to discover this so late on. I mean, it's added so much to the distance. It's rendered everything we've done up to this point completely irrelevant. Yes! Come on! Come on! What, mate? The worst thing about it was, was I, I, I regret it, but I thought, God, I wonder if anyone else has figured out about wetting the tea bags, but oh, they had I mean, done within 30 seconds oh, of the Oh, within a, a heartbeat. E even the person whose well, first well, question well, was, uh, <laughs> what's the longest part of the house? <laughs> Realised quickly that she had to wet it. Yeah, it's not, you know, I'm not proud of what happened. What distance did Ramesh get? Was it impressive? It's about eight and a half dogs. I've measured it. Well, if, um... <laughs> I've done a system of eight and a half dogs. Yeah? Presuming a dog is a metre long. So eight and a half metres. How many dogs did uh, Roaching do? Uh, 2.4 dogs. It was very accurate, and it wasn't the best, or second, or third, or fourth best. <laughs> <laughs> Frank, um, amazing structure. Mm. Presumably a good distance. It was 10. 10.04 uh, metres. Can I, can I just ask a question? Where did you get the box from? There was no box like that available when I was doing it. There was definitely a box available. There was no box, did. mate. There was I'm telling you now. <laughs> There was no box. There was a box available, you I just mean... haven't got box searching skills. <laughs> also, you couldn't work out whether to wet the tea bags. Do you really think you'd have come up with the box idea? Yeah. <laughs> I didn't even have taps in my one. I had to urinate on my tea bag. That, that's, <laughs> that's the lack of facilities I was given. I don't know what, what kind of game you're running here, but I'm not happy about it. All right? That's a very impressive performance. Yeah. And so comforting to know that two of the three people know what a box looks like. What's, uh... There was no box, mate. <laughs> <laughs> That's better. <laughs> Alex, before we go into the break, could you answer me a question? Mm -hmm. How many baked beans do you think there are in a can? In a can of baked beans? Yes. There is no way of knowing that sort of thing. There is, if you're the taskmaster. See you after the break. <laughs> Count the beans and the baked beans and the time starts now. Seven, 401. There are 406 beans in a baked bean, Tim. Welcome back to Taskmaster. Thanks for that, Josh. Much appreciated. <laughs> right. Did no Wait. one else do that? No. <laughs> are you kidding? <laughs> what? <laughs> On with the show. No! What's the matter, mate? Are you joking? <laughs> you look like you're having a lovely time. Right. Oh, we're not getting any points for that. That's correct. <laughs> Alex, who's going to read the final task out? A gamble. Hey! <laughs> <coughs> Standing in a queue, draw the most accurate pictures. Alex will show the person at the back of the queue a picture. The person at the back of the queue must draw this picture 
on the back of the person in front of them. The person at the front of the queue must draw the picture they think has been drawn on the back of their pad. You have one minute per drawing. No one may communicate with anyone else. The team with the most accurate three drawings wins. So can I just check? Have I been put on a team with David Baddiel? <laughs> can I just say we've done it alphabetically? OK. The thinking is there's a team of three there who'll have to pass one drawing across two backs. But to make it fair, you're with David Baddiel. <laughs> <laughs> Please can the people at the back of the queue come and have a look at what I've got on my card? That's you and Ed, Joe. Have a little look at that. You may now no longer communicate, <coughs> except with your finger. OK, you have one minute, starting... <laughs> Let's draw. What, what are you doing? No communication, please. No communication. I can't communicate. <laughs> <laughs> he was gripping Ed's finger and stopping him from doing anything. It depends how you look at it. <laughs> right, David, that's, that's it. That's all you get, mate. Six Do seconds again? left. Six oh. seconds. What are you doing? Why are you still drawing? <laughs> Stop the drawing. Stop What's the drawing. What the fuck have you done? No communication. Please that wait. Was, please that, wait. That, please that stay, stay at the front. Crazy. Stay at the front. You were literally just drawing anything. <laughs> David, please show David, them what you've you done. Prick. <laughs> So, I don't know how you've got eyes and eyeballs. Yeah. Well, you were supposed to do a horse. <laughs> a horse. Oh, yeah. It didn't occur to me it wouldn't be a person. It, did you hear that? He just said, it didn't occur to me that it wouldn't be a person. Yeah. <laughs> OK, please, uh, David, come to the back of the queue. Yeah. And, uh, Ed, can, can you do this. turn can over do a couple this. of pages? So it's blank. And I'd like David and Rose to come and have a look and see what's on my card. It's going to be a human face, isn't you it? May no longer, <laughs> you may no longer communicate. OK, you have one minute. Starting. Let's draw. Can't wait to see this. <laughs> I'm doing this again. You're doing it again? No, that's, you can't do it again. <laughs> this, is, this is all communication. It, it's no. not helping. Ten seconds, ten seconds, ten don't, seconds. Don't get your team disqualified, please. Five seconds no. left. <laughs> Ed, do you want to show, first of all, Greg, what you've drawn? Yeah, sorry, we cheated a bit. The communication really helped. <laughs> Why did you do that? That's what you did on my back. That is not what I did on your back. Thank you. <laughs> well, they were supposed to draw a church. <laughs> <laughs> I'd have to give that to them. Because uh, there are at least angles in it. Yes. <laughs> so, yeah, we're going to give that to the gents. Okay, yeah. so it's 1 1, and it's time for the decider. So, the if you big could all... one. Okay, uh, Katie, come, come to the back of the queue. Oh, Ed, come we to the back of the it. queue, please. Lose that range. <laughs> <laughs> okay, my tactics for this one is feel what I'm doing, don't just decide to do your okay, own thing. Okay, okay. <laughs> no, I get that. I get that. Ed and Katie, please come and have a look at what's on the card. Oh, okay. No communication from now on, please. <laughs> you have one minute. Starting. Look at the stance on Gamble. Right, yeah. <laughs> Two seconds left. <laughs> stop, stop, stop. No communication. Wow. Can David? I? Yes, please show Greg what you've drawn. <laughs> Is it a cubist men's genital? <laughs> Would you like to see it? Yes, please. We went to do three aubergines. <laughs> For more Taskmaster, subscribe now!